The before-after effect can be used to showcase the difference of two images. And we will look at how you can add a vertical slider and also how you can customize a horizontal slider for your before-after effect. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started in the build method and here you create a before-after widget. And here inside you need to add this before image property and here you add then your image inside. And then you can also add the after image and here you set then this other image inside. And both images I have stored within the assets folder and here I have these both images before and after. To make this also work, you need to go to your pubspec jumble file and here you need to add these assets under the flutter tag inside and we also make use of this before after package to display these before after effects. And lastly, you add here this is vertical to true and with this you have already this vertical slider inside and you can switch between the after image and the before image. Now we can also customize this before after a bit so you can set the sum color and I set it here right now to red and now we have here this red color. You also can set here the thumb radius to zero so you want to hide this middle point and this looks then like this. And what you also can do is you can set the image width and height to the maximum width and maximum height and this will then extend here our screen a bit and around it we have some padding. And lastly, you also can set here this overlay color and I set it here right now to a white color and every time I drag here around you see this white overlay in the middle. Next, we want to look at how we can add a horizontal slider. Therefore, we create here a new before after widget and this time I put here different images inside. And this time we don't specify here this is vertical to true, instead we just display it and then we have automatically this horizontal slider. You also can change here the clip radius of the edges and I put here for example an image corner radius to 40 and then you see that our image is here rounded. And lastly you also can modify the thumb radius and last time we have set it to 0. However this time we put it to 24 and then we have the thumb radius in a bigger size. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye.